to my youtube channel modi mechanical engineering tutorials in this video i would like to explaining in details about different kind of effects of cold working and hot working process on microstructures of metal so let us start with the process so in that case of the rolling process just you can see the workpiece material that will be passing between two pressurized roller and the distance of these two rollers that will be depends upon my requirement of the reduction of the cross sectional area so in that case of this rolling process i would like to use hot working process or cold working process so basically in case of hot working process the material is being heated above the recrystallization temperature then that will be passing between these two pressurized roller so that will be easily converting into desired shape and size if i will use the cold material or you can say below the recrystallization temperature and passing between these two rollers so it will be like as a cold working process so in that case the high amount of stress is being required so according to the different kind of utilizations of that particular product i would like to select hot working process and cold working process so both the process that will be having a wide applications in the field of metal forming processes later on we will discussing on to that which kind of benefits of the hot working process and cold working process so just you can see here that will be the basic rolling process so in that case the process of the rolling that will be passing hot ingot through a two rollers and basically if you observing that these two rollers it will be moved opposite to each other with the uniform speed then and then that will be possibilities to reduction into that area so basically with the help of this rolling process the increasing the length of the workpiece material and reduction into cross sectional area of the material so to confirm the desired thickness of the roll section the space between the roller is being adjusted basically this lower roller it will be fixed and upper roller is being movable so according to the requirement of the reduction into cross sectional area we are using that particular distance hence the reduce the cross sectional and increase the length of the passing ingots the rolls are squeezed after this just you can see the cold process or you can say cold working process so in case of the cold working process the material is uh, below a recrystallization temperature and passing between these two pressurized roller so this is the initial microstructure of the material and once it will be passing between these two pressurized roller so according to these two pressurized roller it will be providing a compression stress onto that material and due to that compression stress these grains it will be permanently elongate or you can say it will be compressed so it will be requirement of the high amount of stresses to permanently change the grain structure so in between this range just you can see just it will be touches the this periphery of the two pressurized roller so that will be the compression stage so all the grains it will be having into compression mode and after some traveling once again it will be into the recovery mode so due to that cold work the low heat is being generating and after some movements from one end to another end that will be the beginning of the recrystallization so you will get a new crystal structure with the help of cold work process and cold working process that will be having its own advantages so there is a it will be material having a good surface finish good capacity as compared to hot working process and you will get the new grain structure once the recrystallization is being completed in case of a hot working process as you can see the basic setup you will see it will be look like but that will be the undeformed metal 
and in case of the hot rolling process this material is being heated above a recrystallization temperature so in that case that will be the hot form and it will be passing through these two pressurized rollers so which will be having a requirement of the least amount of stress to converting into desired shape and size so if you pass between two pressurized roller it will be having a permanent deformations onto that grains so earlier in case of the hot working process that will be the beginning of the recrystallization and earlierly it will be recrystallization is being completed so in that case of the hot working process it will be having a more grain growth if it will be reheated so in case of the hot working process that will be easily converting my undeformed metal into the deformed metal so this is the metallurgical change or you can say grains change in case of the hot working process and cold working process some another difference that we already discussed like a hot working process that will be heated above the recrystallization temperature in case of the cold working process below the recrystallization temperature so that recrystallization temperature it will depends upon the melting point of the constituents that will be added into the materials secondly in case of the hot working process formation of the new crystals that we already discussing for hot working but in case of the cold working process there is no formation of the crystals there is the basic difference between hot working process and cold working process as the grain is being involved surface finish is not good in case of the hot working process because in case of the hot working process the scale is being formed onto the outer surface of the material and due to that generation of the scale it will be having a inaccurate dimensions as well as the poor surface finish but in case of the cold working process your surface it will be having a good and you will also get the good dimensional accuracy of your component there is no reduction into that dimensions but in case of the hot working process there is no any kind of control onto that process with respect to your requirement of the accuracy in case of the hot working process no residual stresses because residual stresses that will be removed due to that hot working process but in case of the cold working process formation of the residual stresses because your permanent deformation or changes of the grains without heating so that will be having a difficulties to change the grain structures so due to that changing of that particular structures it will be the formation of the residual stresses and once it will be formation so that will be need to removing after the cold working process but in case of the hot working process that will be already removed because of our metal it will be heated above the recrystallization temperature in case of the hot working process less force is required to converting into desired shape and size in case of the cold working process more force is required so during that rolling process it will be requirement of the compressive force so less compressive force is required for hot working process and more compressive force is required for cold working process so both the process that will be having a lots of applications and according to our requirements of the properties into the materials we would like to select hot working process or cold working process so i hope you can understand this if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching